So friends, have you heard about prairies? Prairies are the temperate grasslands of North America. Now, do you know what are temperate grasslands? Temperate grasslands are the vast areas in the northern and the southern hemisphere which are covered with tall grasses. But before that, let's see the different grasslands of the world. They have different names in different parts of the world. The grasslands found in North America are called prairies. Steppes are the grasslands found in Eurasia, that is, Europe and Asia. The grasslands found in South America are called Pampas. Wells are the grasslands found in South Africa. And finally, the grasslands found in Australia are called Downs. Now let's have a look at prairies, the grasslands of North America. Friends, this is the location of prairies. The area marked in red is prairies. It is located between Canada and USA. The important places in prairies are Chicago, Dallas, Texas, New Mexico, Illinois, Colorado, Oklahoma and Minneapolis in USA and Regina in Canada. Now let's understand the fauna of prairies. The prairies are the large open areas with few trees, not much shelter and lots of grass for herbivores to eat. The herbivores animals found in prairies are Bison, antelopes, deer, zebras, rhinoceros, wild horses, cow, goat, sheep, rabbit, etc. Now friends, I have few interesting facts to tell about bison. The American bison is commonly known as the American buffalo. In the late 18th century, there were about 50 million bisons roaming in the plains of North America. It nearly became extinct in the 19th century due to the commercial hunting and slaughter and introduction of bovine diseases from domestic cattle. Today, populations of bison have somewhat increased and can be found mostly in government and private owned parks, zoos, etc. Let's see a few carnivorous animals found in prairies. Coyote, black-footed ferret, badger, skunk, swift fox, rattlesnake, etc. Let's see few birds found in prairies. Greater prairie chicken, prairie warbler, eagles, hawks, owls, grassland sparrow, etc. Let's see few insects found in prairies. Rusty patch bumblebee, black and yellow argyle spider, black wind dance fly, American grasshopper, tiger swallowtail butterfly, monarch butterfly, etc. Now, let's have a look at the industries of prairies. The people of this region are very industrious. They are successfully harnessing the technology to utilize its natural resource. The two most developed countries, the USA and Canada, are located in this region. The main industries of prairies are meat packaging, ore crushing, flour mills, oil extracting, dairy products industry, etc. 
Now let's understand the life of people of prairies. Agriculture. The main occupation of the people of grassland is agriculture. The main crops are wheat, barley, oats, rye, flaxseed, etc. As wheat is grown in plenty amounts, it is known as wheat basket of the world. Cattle rearing. Cattle rearing is done for dairy products and meat. The animals rearing are restricted to the western part of the prairies because that area is grassland where animals can feed themselves by eating the grass. It is not used for farming as that land is too dry due to the lack of moisture in the soil. The cattle farms in North American grasslands are called ranches. Chicago is a big trade center in this region which exports meat. The farmers of prairies are very rich and their standard of living is high. They live in homesteads along with their families and have all the latest comforts and amenities in their home. From these pictures, we can understand the clothing of people of prairies. Their dressing is similar to Europeans. So that was all about prairies. If you like my video, please like, share and don't forget to subscribe my channel, Joe's Concept Vlogs. Bye!